All right, you guys. We got about five more days until she dropped these juice puppies, man. I'm really excited for this breeding because you guys know she's a direct dirt devil, right? She got a full tail. She's girthy, like she's a girthy female. So I feel like she gonna bring, she gonna bring in with juice lacking, like certain things I feel like juice lacking, I feel like she gonna clean it up and bring it in. Um, and she carries color, you guys know juice carry color, so I know I'm gonna get a rainbow. I'm gonna get a rainbow, man, I know I am, you guys. Chocolate, she's chocolate, juice, lilac and um, chocolate. So I know I'm gonna get some nice colors, man, with this girl. And I know I'm gonna get at least half the litter full tails. So I'm really excited for that, you guys. Super excited for that. She got a nice rear. Uh, super short. I know that Kim be making my dogs look weird, but she's super short. Uh, nice fronts. Man, her and Juice. Look, who is that, Snow? Look at look, 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 dog. Look at dog. Get back in the back, Snow. Get back in the back, Snow. So I know her and Juice going. I think she got about maybe five to six pups in there, man. But um, I think I'm going to have tries, too, because I think she carry try. So that's going to be nice. I hate when we come outside because that's what she likes to do, you guys. Y'all comment down below. If y'all dogs do this, man, what does this mean? Like, they be scratching their back or what, man? She the only dog that I let come outside use the bathroom and do this right here. Y'all comment down below. Please, what the hell does this mean? What does this mean, man? Golly. Hop on, let's go. What, what, what you got going on, girl? She got crazy fronts, man. She's short. Super short. She probably like a, I want to say she's probably like a, maybe a 9-inch, 10-inch dog. Maybe 10 inches. Let's say she's about 10 inches. She's super short, though. Don't let this camera fool you, man. That girl's super short, man. Don't let the camera fool you, man. All right, you guys. So, just took Hoppo out. Um, today, man, today, let me give you guys an update. I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown on what the video is going to be about. Um, so, I'm going to do an update on the Big Scar daughter. Um, I'm going to give you guys... I'm going to do something I haven't did in a while. I got to do a spa day on Draco, man. Cut his nails. Give him a, a bath. Because I haven't did that in a while. I'm not going to lie to y'all. He stink. It's time for him to get a bath. And I might, you guys, I might take him to the dog park. I might. I haven't decided I'm going to take him to the dog park. Because you guys know he's aggressive. So, I don't know, man. Like, that's going to be very... I don't know, man. I probably won't do the dog part, man. Because... That boy's aggressive. Like, he's aggressive. Like, and he's not necessarily aggressive because, you know, I, I was abusive to him. He's aggressive because he's very, very territorial. And he's very protective. Because you got to think about it. I've had Draco since um, he was young. I've had him about now about four or five years. Actually, five years. He just turned five. So, um, I don't know, man. I haven't really took him outside. Only, I, only reason why I, only reason I, I've ever taken him like to do things is to breedings. And normally when we go to breedings, he's fine when there's a female there and he, because that's his focus is on the female. But when we go out just for people to see him, he's not having it. Um, but um, we'll see. But I also got a I got a um, I got to bathe this girl off, man. She's super dirty. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take her out of the incubator. Not necessarily to take out. I'm, I think I'm gonna unplug the incubator. Cause I think I don't. I don't. I don't think I no longer need it on no more. But the reason why I got it in you guys, it's just so she can. Um, I had it for the heat, but you guys know I don't want to unplug. But um, take her out. She's starting to walk now. I have all mush in a week. But um, I got a baser off, man. Oh, she's peeing. Oh, girl. Hold on, girl. Hold on, girl. She cool. Her eyes are starting to open, you guys. This girl look amazing. Listen, man, she is available. I've had people ask about her, uh, but nobody has pulled a, pulled a trigger on her, man. She is, I'm asking 5500 for this girl, man. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. To be real, to be real, y'all, she's underpriced. I'm going to tell you why she's underpriced. 
She's three times bait. Her pedigree is stacked. She's three times bait. Um, man, she got stacked pedigree, man. Stacked pedigree. Look at her. See how thick she is? I got a baze off though, you guys. Let me let you guys see me baze her off. She need to be baze off because she's dirty. Come on, you guys. All right. Back up. Back up. Huh. Why are you growling? Why are you growling, little hunk, guy? It's your sister. He said, I ain't messing with her, man. Tell her bike up. Come here, guy. You gonna run from her. Come here. Hey, y'all, check this boy out, man. Look how short that boy is. How thick and short he is, man. That boy is nice, dog. That boy is nice. You like that guy? She trying to suck on you, my guy. I right, just gonna off, you guys. Go ahead and bathe her off, man, because she is, um, she's dirty, man. She's super dirty. And that incubator, I'm not going to lie to y'all, that incubator, boy. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. I want to take her out of it, but the fact that she's only one pup, it's kind of hard, man, because she got to stay warm. And normally when there's a group of puppies, it's easier because of the group of puppies, but she's the only one, though. Look at this girl, man. Look at this girl, man. Eyes starting to open. This girl is, like I said, man, she's definitely underpriced, but um, my next couple litters, I'm going to look out people, you feel me? Like, if she's for 5500 this is definitely an amazing female. Three times, babe, look at the bone dome. Her mom, as you guys know, her mom is Chaya. I'm going to drop the mom. That's the mom. You guys know Scar. I'm going to drop the dad, Scar. Hey, look. One of Drew's best sons, Scar. Head up, boy. Head up, head up, head up, boy. Head up. Come on, get right. You guys know Scar is a direct Juice son. So this is Juice granddaughter. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. If you were smart, if anybody's smart, they would buy her and then run her back to Juice. This is a Juice granddaughter. Buy her and run her back to Juice. And I ain't going to lie to you. If somebody do that, and they want to run her back to Juice, I won't even charge you a stud fee. Just give me a puppy off it. Give me a puppy off of it, and we can run that. You buy her, you want to run her back to Juice, just give me a female off of it. I won't even charge you no stud fee. Look at this girl, man. Bone, dong, everything, man. Two weeks old. But look, though, you guys, I also want to tell you guys, man, Um, what I want to tell you guys. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm sitting off a lot of semen. You guys know, I got a co-own. Um, I got a co-own with um, Sophie. For the ones who don't remember, Sophie was the the black and white female, the full tail. I do co-own her with one of my guys in um, California. She has officially came back in heat, so I gotta send off some juice semen today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on that. See my man's awesome that juice semen. We did have a deal where he co. Uh, well, he got, he bought her, and uh, I did a deal. Same deal I wanted to do on her. Um, I wouldn't consider it a co -own. Like, I wouldn't necessarily consider it a co -own because he bought her for what I was asking for her. But I told him, he was like, hey, I want to run back the juice. And I was like, bet, say no what, say no more. That's, that's, we can do that. I was like, I won't even charge you a stud fee. I won't charge you a stud fee. Let me get a puppy off of it. And that's what we agreed on. And she's, she's in heat now. She just heat. He got a PG on her. Um, I'm gonna send him the semen off. I'm gonna send him the semen off, and we're gonna make it work. I get a female back from that. I'm excited. Sorry, I'm sorry, girl. I get a female off of that, man. I feel like the thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I gotta speak y'all real quick. I feel like these co owns man, they only go left when people don't understand co owns 
You know what I'm saying? So like I feel like the problem I'm running into with these co-owns, and it's just me speaking off of the like, you know, most of my co-owns go perfectly fine, you guys. I have plenty co-owns out there. I'm talking about I have over 20 co-owns. You gotta think about it, you guys. I co-own the Berkeley's daughter. I co-own um, a mama cat daughter. I co-own two mama cat daughters. I co-own that Bertha daughter. I co-own, man, I co-own like six, seven dogs. No, I co-own a lot more. I co-own about ten dogs, right? And there's no problems, like no problems, no nothing, right? But I feel like when the problem comes in is when... Hold on, you guys. Give me one second. I feel like the problem comes in, man, when people don't understand co-owners, man. Like, people got to understand, man, when you... Be quiet. I recorded. But I feel like the thing a lot of people don't understand, man, when it comes to these co-owners is this, man. When you co-own a dog, <laughs> when you co-own a dog with somebody, man, or with a breeder, bro, it is not the breeder's job to pay for everything, man. Like, that's my problem, you know. I be, I be looking out. I be feeling like my problem is I be looking out for people and it bite me in the ass. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. So... If I tell you I'm willing to co on a dog with you, right? And I'm willing to walk the litter. Think about it. Let's, let's think about it. If I tell you I'm willing to co on a dog with you and I'm willing to walk the litter, I'm willing to pay for the C section, bro, at least have enough DC to help me out. What I mean by that is this you can't expect, like, bro, it's not fair for a customer to expect me to walk the litter, pay for the C section. Pay for the vet, you know what I'm saying? The vet meds, because yes, we have to get these dogs meds after C-section, and it's not free. I don't know what other vet anybody else is going to, but my meds after my C-section is not free. But, you know, it's not fair for, you know what I'm saying? I have no problem whooping the litter because a lot of people, I don't trust a lot of people whooping. I trust mine, you feel what I'm saying? So, like, I have no problem. If I say whoop the litter, I whoop the litter, and I'll pay for it. I, one thing about me, when I cone it up with you, I know I'm going to benefit off of it. So, I have no problem paying for the C-section myself and whooping the litter. But help me out. When I say help me out, pay for the dog to get to me. Why do I have to pay for the dog to get to me? Like, just because you bought the dog, that means that's it. I got to pay for the dog to get back to me. I got to pay for the, 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 you know what I'm saying, the, the C-section. I got to pay for the vet meds and whoop the litter. Damn, so what that, so, so what you're telling me is you going to pay for the dog and you're gonna profit all. Think about it. Of course, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if come on, of course I'm happy to sell the puppies. I mean, that's 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 no, that's no brand. I'm happy to sell the puppies. You mean to tell me I'm doing all this and you can't even pay for the dog to get to me? Like I gotta pay for everything, bro? Come on, bro. That that shit ain't fair. And I feel like that's where some of the problems rely with these co-owns, man. Like I've even came into contact like they feel me. Like it's like you know I've been over backwards as a breeder. And I feel like some folks expect everything out of me without putting in half. You know what I'm saying? Not even half because, again, like I said, I have no problem. And we, like, just like, just good example. Just like the co on the birth of daughter. Bro, we breed her back to, I think, I don't know who we came with. It was Juice. Somebody we breed her back to. I think it was Juice. Somebody, we, I don't I don't know who we agree on. But the thing about it is, all I'm doing is sending the senior. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. But, some deals I make on co-owns where I have to, I say I whoop the litter, I pay for C-section, but at least you can do is get the dog to me. Like, pay for the shipping. Normally, I ain't gonna lie, normally, you know, shipping be like, normally at the low end, 400. That's on the low end. Depends on where you at, could be more. If you in California and I'm in Florida, it'd be about 600. Like, so it's like, people be expecting me to do everything. You want me to get the dog shipped back to me. You want me to pay? For, come on, bro. Like, be reason, be understanding with me. Like, feel me? Like, meet me in the middle a little bit. Even if, cause one thing about it, once you get dog to me, bro, I'm not finna ask for help on the C section. I'm not gonna do that. Why? 
You feel me? Like, that's my job. I'm a profit from the public. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Some of these folks out here, man, with these clones, they got them confused. And I feel like that's partially my fault. Because I should start. But I feel like it's not my fault. Because it's like, what's understood don't have to be explained. Like, you can't co own a dog with somebody and expect for them to do to pay for everything. But that's common sense. But believe it or not, you'll be surprised how many people feel like, oh, I co own a dog with you. So, you got to pay for it to get back to you. You got to pay for the C-section. You and, and then I want you to sell puppies and get my money. That's it. Comment out below how y'all feel about that. Like, genuinely, comment out below because I feel like... Comment out below. Just comment out below. How do y'all feel on a call? Do you feel like... Let's say I call on a dog with you. Let's say I say, hey, I love this dog. This dog being a lot to me. I whoop the litter. I'll pay for the C-section. Do you feel like you're supposed to help me with anything? Do you feel like I should pay for shipping or you should pay for shipping? Like, Now, let's not mention, think about it. C-sections in Florida, they're a little bit cheaper if you can plug in. C-sections here, I pay like 900 Cool. Shipping, again, that's on a low-end 400 Could go up to 700 It depends on where you at. So I should pay for shipping for the, to get the dog back to me and the C-section and the vet meds and what the litter and sell them for you and give your money. Please comment down below how y'all feel about that. I feel like personally that right that that scenario I just gave you, I feel like that wasn't right. I feel like if if I did a, if I did a co on people, man, like if I did a co on with somebody and I was the consumer with the with the breeder, I would tell the breeder, hey, all right, cool. If you want the living everything, that's cool. That's good for me. I'm gonna at least help you by getting the dog shipped to you. Don't worry about that. I'll pay the little four or five hundred to get all shit to you. You take care of everything else. And that's just being understanding. That's just being helpful because, bro, you can't expect so much out of somebody and only giving a little. That's what people don't understand. People expect so much out of people and only give a little. Come on, bro. Like, let's be fair. If we both gonna eat and work together, let's both actually eat and work together. Let's not, let's not remember the first part, which is eat. And forget the second part, which is work together. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm not rich. I'm not a millionaire. I have a family. I have kids. I have other responsibilities. So, in a co-own, everything it shouldn't be solely relied on. Hey, be quiet, man. In a co-own, everything shouldn't be solely relied on me. And that's all I'm saying. But y'all comment down below how y'all feel about the co-own. Like, what y'all think? All right, you guys, that girl is dried off, man. Like I said, man, three times bait. She's available, man. Tap in. Like like I said, um, my own 5,500, I have no problem. Um, Like I said, she's a ba she's a Juice granddaughter. I have no problem bringing her back to Juice if you want to do that. That'll be, honestly, that'll be one of the best decisions because she's three times bait and she's a Juice granddaughter. Her and Juice going to click like this. And you're going to have some 10K plus puppies. You feel me? But, again, I have no problem doing that. Um, but, you got to meet me in the middle. Give me a puppy. You feel me? I won't charge no stud fee. Juice stud fee is, juice stud fee is 3K. I won't charge no stud fee. Um, I prefer to do a live breeding. But, I mean, I can ship. It don't really matter where you're at. Um, and let's get it working. Let's get it popping. Like I said, you guys, remember, please, on these cones, man. This, the, the, the. Everything don't solely rely on the breeder, man. Help the breeder out, man. It's a team effort, bro. It's a team effort. But um, give me one second, you guys. What's up, mamas? I think I'm gonna end up taking her out of the incubator now because she don't really need to be in there. Look at this. Look at the structures, bro. Come on, man. Look at the structures on this girl, man. Golly, boy. I don't see that. Um, like I was saying though, fifty five hundred, and you can run her back to juice. I won't charge you a stud fee. Just give me a female out of it. Meet me in the middle. Or if you want to buy fifty five hundred and she be solely yours, that's on you. You ain't got. I'm not saying you got to do the bring back the juice. I want that because I know what I know what her and juice will do. Because she's a juice granddaughter. So it'll kind of be like a like a line breeder, but not a direct end breeder because this juice is not her dad. But I know her and juice gonna be something serious though, most duh.
Calm down, girl. Calm down, girl. Calm down, girl. Yes, sir. And we are finished, man. Look at this girl, man. She's so crazy, like. Definitely underpriced. This is definitely, this is easier 8, 8K female, man. Easier 8K female. But I'm looking out, man. 5,500. Three times bait. Oh, hold on. She pooping. She got poop all over her, bro. Big Scar daughter, man. Y'all better tap in with Big Scar in the juice line. That juice line something else, man. Tap in with it. If you definitely trying to level up your account and you want a nice quality female, this is definitely where it's at. She is definitely where it's at. Quality female. For an amazing price, man. Golly, bro. And her eyes are starting to open, y'all see? Structure on that girl, man. Comment down below if y'all think she fire. Comment down below the fire emojis. Golly, boy, that girl look amazing. She cold, but I turned the incubator off, though. Man, y'all better get in with the quality, boy. Check out. Look at the dome on that girl. I think she might be trying. What's her thing, man? I think she literally might be trying. Come on away, girl. Come on away, girl. That's all they be doing is crying, man. And yes, I'm still feeling, yes, I'm still feeling them much because they so small, man. Like, they super small. I can't, you feel me? Especially these two. I got to give them much. They don't feel no much. Look, look at that big old dome. You see, her head is so big, she about to lose. Look at Leo, she about to lose balance. Y'all see that? Watch this. Her head is so big, she about to lose balance. All right, guys, I'm going to let them eat. Come on, Drake. Drake, come on, Drake. I ain't going to lie to you guys. I'm taking a risk right now. I am taking a risk right now, man. Tell me what risk are you taking? I got Draco in the front yard and I base him off in the front yard. He's aggressive. I hope don't none of my neighbors walk by because Draco gonna out. Feel me? Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here. What you, what you wanna do, Drake? 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 What what you wanna do, Drake? What you wanna do, Drake? Huh? What you trying to do, Drake? All right then, better be quiet. Come here. Come here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on, son. Ah, your nails are short. God. Diggity, diggity, dog, boy. Come on. Oh, hold on. It's hot, Drake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, son. It's hot, ain't it, boy? Come on, son. Come on, son. Come over here. Come over here, son. Come here, son. Come here. 
Yes, sir. Well needed. Well needed. This is well needed. Like you stink. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. Like Draco, I love this boy. He's my vision. She, he's my vision. Hey, come on, Drake. Come on, Drake. He's my visional bull. When I say bull, I'm talking about a real bull. I ain't talking about a micro. Because a micro is different from a like, like that old school bull. If you get what I'm saying? Draco is like that. He got everything. I'm talking about the dome. The, look, at his, look at his neck, bro. Look. look. I'm not even. Like, Alright, so I'm touching on this side, right? Look. My head, my, my, my. I'm, my, my, my thumbs are touching on this side, but look, look how much space I think I love. That boy neck thick, man, like, look at his full tail. And he got, listen, crazy thing about Draco, he's a ghost try. He produces tries. He got, um, I think like three or four try puppies out there. Man, Draco, don't call it on, don't sleep on my boy. Don't sleep on my boy. Don't sleep on my boy. Come on, Drake, stop. You tried to bite me? You tried to bite me? You tried to bite me? All right, Drake. All right, Drake. What you want to do? Okay, then. Thought so. Okay, then. Thought so. Okay, then. Wow, ah, love you, boy. I'm going to get it done. Hey, get it done, son. One thing about it over here at CB Kennel Dog, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't just own dogs. I show love to my dog. I don't just own dogs, bro. I'm not a, I'm not a dog breeder. I'm a dog lover. I love animals. That's why y'all see on my channel, I done had pigs. I done had goats. I done had all type of stuff. I'm an animal lover at heart. I don't just love dogs. I'm not just a dog breeder. Anybody can be a dog breeder. I'm an animal lover. Drake, you stink, but you need this damn boy. Come on, let's get right. Let's get let's let's go on the flex on him, Drake. Come on, go on the flex on him real quick, huh? On the flex on a real quick sign. On the flex on a real quick sign. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, uh, lift that tail up, boy. Lift that tail up, boy. Up, oh, Drake, up, oh, up, oh, Drake, up. Oh. On the flex on a boy. Hold on, let me get your feet right. Let me get your feet right. There it is. There it is. Get a side shot of that boy. Get a side shot of that boy. There it is. There it is. Yes, sir. Love you, son. Wow. You stink. Your head stink. Your breath stink. Everything stinks, son. Come on, lay down. Lay down, Drake. Lay down, Drake. So y'all know one thing about Drake. For the ones who haven't been watching me since day one. Now, Drake is literally my favorite dog. Like, he's my favorite dog. Pause on that, Drake. You let him out. Come on, man. Pause on that, man. But Drake is my favorite dog, man. Like, y'all know Drake was born a month after my daughter was born. So, you know, I ain't gonna lie. He got a special place in my heart. He literally grew up with my daughter in, the, in, like, in that first apartment we had. He literally grew up with her. So, like, him and her bond is, like, it's crazy, bro. Like, literally, bro. Because he grew up with her. And, like, when we had that apartment from the an apartment days, her and Drake, like, she was the, he was the only dog. Hold on, Drake, stop. He was the only dog that she wasn't scared of at that, at that, at that time. Because y'all know she was young. So, he was the only dog she wasn't scared of. Y'all probably gonna be like, why you ain't baby Drake on the house? That's why. Y'all see what he just did. He was throwing water in with all the extra stuff. Drake, 
Draco. Got some dookie back there, boy. Got some dookie back there, boy. I'm not gonna lie, he's a world trained dog, though. He's a very world trained dog. Like, it's, it's like if a neighbor up right now, and he sides like he want to run over there, and I tell him to come back, he'll come back. That's why I ain't basement house right there. That reason why right there. Come here, Drake. Lift the head, lift the chin up. Chin up, son. Drake, this is well needed, bro. Cause boy, I ain't gonna lie to you. You smell like Dookie, son. Come here, Drake. Come here, son. Come on, Drake, stop. Drake, come here. Drake, pause on that, man. Another thing about Drake, y'all, another fun fact about Draco, he is fully potty trained. He does not use the bathroom in the house at all. I ain't gonna lie, he have mess up sometimes, you know, when he wanna, when he wanna, you know, when he wanna attention, he does mess up every now and again, but other than that, he's a well-trained dog. Great. All right, you guys. Go ahead and shake off now. You can shake off now, son. Come here. You all right? You okay? Come on. Come on. Come talk to me. Come on. What's up? You all right? You all right? Everything good? How you living? You living all right? Love you, boy. Hey, y'all know what's crazy? Another fun fact about Draco. His mom was a micro. She was not a pocket. <laughs> I swear. His mom was a micro. She was not a pocket. Come on. Come. 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 Come here, Draco. Let me catch me up. These nails are sharp, my boy. Stop, 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 stop. I even cut your nails. Stop. Stop, Draco. Bro, stop acting like a female. You is too big for that. Stop. Acting like a girl. Big as you will. Big. 6'5", 200 pound dude. Tell me, Arr! stop. Stop, Drake. Drake, but you done scared me, Drake. Come on, Drake, man. I know that don't hurt. I'm not cutting you. Come on, Drake, stop, bro. For real. Drake, stop. Drake, stop. Drake. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. Come here, Drake. Drake, bro. Come on, Drake. Stop, boy. Exactly. Drake, you're like a female, bro. Stop. Snatch your hand for me, boy. Man, having dogs is like having kids, bro. Drake, stop. Bro. Thank you. Calm down and relax. Let me get your other hand. Look how long your nails is. Nails are like you. Stop, Drake. Drake, come here, bro. 
I ain't finna fight with you, homie. Come on, bro. Chill out. Hey, like a little girl. I bite your nose. It hurt. Come on, Drake. Let me touch your nail. Body too long. Stop, Drake. Come on, bro. Don't worry, but that's good enough, man. I ain't got time to be fighting with you by cutting your nail. But you want to fight, though. You want to you play, though. But you scared your nails cut. I ain't messing with you, man. All right, guys. That's it. Um.